Hello, I'm M.K. Davis. When I went to Bluff Creek last June with Don Monroe, and we found these deep impressions, across the, the way there, uh, on the other side of the road, were a continuation of those tracks uh, for quite a ways. Uh, and it varied. They were different sizes, different directions, just milling about. Um, we looked at them, and it was kind of puzzling for us because we haven't seen anything like that. I've been down there probably about 20 times. I hadn't seen anything like that. Uh, kind of theorized as to what they might be. Uh, some of them looked like they could be bear tracks. Others were just too large uh, and too heavy. So uh, let's just take a look at those other tracks on the other side of the road. Uh, let's go there. Came up, looks like it came out of the woods right here. You see right there by that scuff marks right there. And then here, here, here. This one right here, look at the size of it. You can see the toes in this darkened down, contrast-boosted version. Let's zoom. Uh, I think you can see them here. Uh, so this most certainly was a track and a very large one. Now let's look, look at Don's foot beside it. Don, put your foot right there. There. What size shoe you wear, Don? He's two here now, see here? With these feet. Yeah. So we're, I brought a ten and a half. Ten and a half D. Well, there you have it. Uh, ten and a half D is the size of Don's foot, and the thing dwarfed his foot. Uh, so, uh, you be the judge. Uh, but this is Bluff Creek, and they're known to have. Sasquatch tracks there. Uh, let's just take a look at some drone footage I took of the area and just kind of, you can kind of get an idea of the countryside. This may give you an idea of uh, what, it, what the countryside was like. And why uh, that a Bigfoot or Sasquatch or groups of them might be hanging around this place. Up, up, up we go. To about 400 feet. Down in that valley, right to the left there, kind of coming around, uh, is Bluff Creek, down in the bottom of that. So Bluff Creek drainage, and this is the foothills of Mount Shasta. Um, Mount Shasta was about 70 miles away. Uh, they call these the Siskiyous. But it's associated with Mount Shasta. Pretty rough country. Beautiful country, though.
this is only the beginning of our adventure there this past uh, summer. But I won't go into too much more about this particular area. There's some more I can say, um, but I'll probably will save that for another time. So we'll just ease back down. This would turn out to be a busy day for us. Uh, and a long one. Uh, making it down to Bluff Creek. The problem with landing a, a drone uh, in amongst a whole bunch of tall timber is that you you tend to lose the satellites. So you, you kind of have to just make up your mind to come on down before you can, uh, this thing starts giving you a lot of warning lights. Um, when it does that, it usually kind of jiggles back and forth and hunts. And uh, you can still get it down. See, I went back up and got the satellite again. And then once I lock back on, I come on down. You get used to it. And uh, we'll catch our next video. And thank you for your time.